Aw yeah, Rivers here with some cool tech, and today I want to show you the Vizio M651D 65-inch 3D Smart TV. This is Vizio's latest ultra-thin design, and you can see it's also got a very slim bezel. It has a 240Hz LED panel with smart dimming, movie theater 3D so you won't need battery-operated glasses anymore, built-in Wi-Fi, Ethernet, four HDMI ports, an optical audio port, and more. It's got a bunch of apps too, including Netflix, Hulu Plus, and Amazon Prime all on one device. You usually don't find all three of these apps together. And of course, you've got YouTube, Pandora, Vudu, and lots more apps. First up, let's take a look at the remote. So you've got your app shortcut buttons at the top here. You've got your media playback controls right here. And here's your multi-directional pad, which you'll use a lot on this TV. Over here, this brings up your apps and volume up, volume down. You've got some screen setting controls here and your keypad. Here's a cool feature on the remote. It lights up when you push any of the buttons so you can see it at night. And on the back, it's got some warm feeling soft touch plastic. These are the 3D glasses that come with this TV. They use polarized lenses like the kind you get in the movie theater and they work great. I used to have the battery operated shutter style glasses on my old TV, the Sony HX800 and they didn't work anywhere near as well. They gave me a headache and the 3D quality didn't look as good. Plus, when you buy this TV from certain retailers, you get eight pairs of glasses instead of the standard four. I'll put a link to where I got my TV with the eight pairs of glasses in the video description down below. Next, I removed the stand and mounted the TV on the wall along with my Samsung soundbar. The built-in speakers are actually pretty good, better than my last TV, but the soundbar just sounds awesome. I highly recommend it for any LCD TV. I used a special ultra-thin tilting wall mount. It gives it a clean look like a picture frame and leaves very little room behind the TV. As you can see, the TV has a really wide viewing angle and it looks, still looks really good even from the side. Now let's take a look at the apps. So if you hit the app button on the remote once, you'll see your favorites. And you've got Hulu Plus, Netflix, and Amazon Prime all on one device. These guys usually don't allow all their stuff to be on one device at the same time. If you hit the app button twice, you can see all of your apps that are available, and this is where you can choose to add ones to your favorites. They've got some pretty nice apps on here, and then there's also some pretty plain apps on here. A lot of these TV channels don't even have video on them. It's just a little sidebar where you can read news while you're watching TV. This TV has one of the best looking versions of YouTube that I've ever seen. It takes the graphics from the YouTube channel and puts it into the UI. I just wish it was a little bit faster. But check this out, you can send a YouTube video from your phone to the TV. Now you need to be on the same home network to be able to do this, and I'm using a Galaxy S3, but I think the phone is just barely fast enough to keep up with this, so something more like a Galaxy S4 or one of the latest crop of Android phones would probably be better. You can pretty much share any video that you have on your phone using an app like iMedia Share. Just select the video, choose Share To, choose iMedia Share, and then you'll see your Vizio TV available and send it there. Netflix is also one of the best apps that comes on the TV. The UI looks pretty much like anywhere else, but the video playback quality looks really good. The main strengths of the TV itself are the video quality is excellent and the 3D is really amazing. There are a few really good apps on here, but a lot of them don't really do much or they require a subscription fee for something that you aren't sure what you're going to get. Here's a great upgrade for your new TV. It puts full Android Jelly Bean on your TV and gives you access to thousands of apps. It's called an Android Mini PC or AMP. It will make your new smart TV smarter than any TV on the market today. You can actually install whatever apps you choose and it's very inexpensive too. You'll want to buy the latest AMP so I'll put links to some of the best ones available in the description below. The best way to control your AMP is with an air mouse remote control like this one. This one also has a keyboard, which is very nice for quickly entering text. You just tap or drag the screen just like you would on a smartphone or tablet. It's very easy to use. Web browsing on an Android mini PC is much easier than on any set-top box I've ever used. Also, watching YouTube videos is actually very easy on here, and since you have the keyboard, you can do full searches, which is really nice. The Vizio M651D can also play video from USB devices like hard drives and flash drives, but a lot of formats are not supported, like MKV. Attaching an amp can help play a range of formats. The only downsides I've noticed on this TV are the remote could have a little bit stronger signal sometimes, and the menus can occasionally be a little bit laggy. On the plus side, the Vizio M651D has a ton of great features. It has a great panel with awesome picture quality, and the 3D looks amazing. All the TV companies should have done 3D like this to begin with, and it would have been much more successful. It's thin and has a super small bezel, which looks very modern. And you get excellent hardware for the price. 
It's about $1,000 less than a comparable Samsung or LG. Plus, Vizio is actively updating the firmware for the M651D. I've already had two firmware upgrades in the past few weeks. This means more apps may be added in the future. I'll put links to the TV and all the hardware and software seen in the video in the description down below. Also I have reviews of all the Android Mini PCs seen in the video so I'll put links to those in the description as well. If you liked this video or found it helpful, the only thing I ask is please hit that little like button down there. That will help me out so much. And if you want to see updates and more videos like this, be sure and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and as always, aloha.